shoot. Uh, more so like, you know, practice. I mean, it sounds kind of like cliche, but more so the consistency of it and, you know, getting to know a guy. I've been in Buffalo for a couple of years now and getting to know him and, you know, more like personality. You know what I'm saying? You grow as you go and throughout seasons, every season is different. You got to adjust and it's just, it's been fun. You know, this year we're starting off how we want to start off, you know, can be better in a lot of areas. So it's that constant chase for perfection. So Stephon, obviously you've been been in London before. What, what sort of advice do you give for the new guys who've never been in before, never played abroad mm-hmm. before? Uh, across the pond, I would just say take it one play at a time, one day at a time. Try to get some rest when you when you're supposed to, at least, and uh, go out there and ball out. I mean, I try not to make it more than what it is. Uh, it's a it's a game day, you know, work trip. I don't have too much fun out there, but more so focus on the task at hand, and that's trying to get a win. I'm here since 2017. Have you got a message for the, the British fans that are out here to see you? I'm so excited. Um, hopefully they welcome me back with open arms. It's been a while, uh, but I'm excited. Uh, football over here, just it feels different. People are excited. Um, it's not necessarily a new sport, but it's something that they don't get to see often. So um, I, know, I know they're excited to uh, go out there and cheer them on. Let them know that third down is a big down. You know what I'm saying? What are some things that have been for you in playing in an odd hour? It's more so like I'm I'm not a huge sleeper, so I don't I don't get too much rest. I like I'll be up throughout the night, so I don't I don't care when I play, where I play, or I just go out there and try to go hoop. Thank you. Josh was just up here and he said he was kind of dragging a little bit. How would you feel? Sleepy how do you head. Feel? Yes. <laughs> how are you feeling after the flight and everything? I'm fine. I'm ready to go. Uh, I I could play right now if I had to, but that's why I, I don't really sleep much for her, so it's no big deal to me. But you know, sleepy head does need to get his rest. Uh, he was tired this morning, so look forward to him, you know, making a turn and getting some rest a little bit. But I don't care how I feel. I got to go. Stefan, welcome back to London. Thank you. Your offense is off to a great start this season. How would you describe your connection on the field with Josh Allen to new British fans? Uh, how can I? I don't know a word that's, that's like a good word. Give me a good word. Dope. Huh? Dope. Oh, dope. That's not cool yeah. enough. Um, I don't know. I know. Uh, when I was over here, somebody told me I had a cheeky smile. I don't know what that means, but hopefully it's a cheeky connection. It's good, right? We've yes, seen many more games being played in Europe. I've seen you traveling around Europe in the yeah. summer. Where else would you have a game in Europe? Or would you want to have another game? Well, I mean, of all places, you know, this is going to be my second time here. I kind of want to explore the world a little bit. Maybe some Australia, maybe some Mexico. Some football in Mexico and Australia might not be bad. Europe getting a little bit more football than anybody else, but you know, uh, if they're gonna make this an international thing, why not travel some more? Stefan, um, now that you've been here for a couple of times, can you talk about like how crazy the fans are, and if you compare them to the yeah. American fans, like who's crazier? I was, I mean, I don't want to say, but. Uh, it is crazy here. They just cheer on every down. That's why I try to let them know that make sure third down is a big down. But uh, as long as they're having a good time and enjoying the sport, uh, you know, we all, we're all over here excited to be over here, you know, welcoming all the love and, you know, trying to expand this game of football. It's always fun. So try to get a lot of more Bills jerseys over here, too. It's a little bit, you know, it's a little scattered. So. I've been working on it. I've been working on it. I had to do a little research, you know what I'm saying? But you'll see a little something, a little something. Right, I got to score first. What does that research involve? Like, you the local football, the real football celebration. So we'll see. Do you have some time to enjoy some of London and people around it? Is this exciting? Yeah, they, uh, they kind of put us on a little time crunch, so we, we don't have too much time, and we're like a little hour away from the city, I think, or roughly. But uh, I'm going to try to get over there. You know, I'm a chronic shopper, so I try to go buy some stuff when I get a chance. But for right now, you know, hang out with you all. <laughs> <laughs> that last post game, you had a Beatles t-shirt on. Yeah. My question is, is that more of a fashion statement or a music statement? I always say fashion statement because every time I wear a band, they always say, name a song right now. And I get flustered and I can't name a song, even if I did know one. So. Uh, are you more familiar with Europe with the, the more travel than the rest of the guys, and maybe a little more comfortable with this trip? Uh, I'm, 
I'm comfortable wherever I go, you know what I'm saying? Especially I'm around the guys, I'm around my team. Uh, Europe is a fun place too. It's not like you're going into an environment where people don't want you to be there. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely welcoming. It's definitely uh, fun for me. So I spend a little bit of time over here in the summertime too. So, you know what I'm saying? Couldn't wait to come back. Favorite Beatles song. Here it is. There it is. What is it? I'm, I'm, what is it? I don't...